Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Lisa and today we're going to be making the best meatball sandwich you ever had. So let's get started. So the ingredients we'll be using today is some pasta sauce, some Parmesan cheese, some spices, which if you scroll down, you'll see them down below, some ground turkey, a couple of eggs, and also some Italian seasoning. So let's get everything prepared and let's start making this meal. So first we just wanna give a shout out to Teresa Summers in Laguna Woods for giving us this fantastic recipe. We have the meat in the bowl, and so we're ready to go ahead and start putting our other ingredients in. We'll start with the um, Italian breadcrumbs. Throw those in. We also have the grated Parmesan. We have two eggs. Those in. Okay. Just gonna rinse my hands. And then we have the oregano. You'll see on the recipe what all of it is, but Pretty much right now, I'm using one tablespoon of all the ingredients that I have. Some garlic powder. And some basil. Some onion powder. Okay, and now we're actually gonna switch to a half of a teaspoon. This is the poultry seasoning, which since we're using ground turkey, it's gonna make delicious just kicks it up a notch. And the salt and pepper. Okay, that's all of our ingredients. Don't worry, it's not gonna hurt anything. <laughs> Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all of this together and all of these ingredients will make a type of like meatloaf, but what we're gonna do is roll them into meatballs. So let's mix all this together. And that's what we have our gloves on for. So we're not touching anybody else's food, especially since I'm making this for Burning Cereal Studios today. There's some people who prefer not to have their food touched, although at home, I dig my hands in. Once we get all of that mixed up, we'll come back and we'll start making meatballs. Okay, so we're ready to go ahead and make the meatballs, or as somebody in the studio says, the turkey balls, because we're using turkey meat today. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to take a little bit of meat, probably about golf ball size, roll it up, put it on parchment paper, wax paper. Um, if you don't have either of those, you can possibly use a paper plate. So we'll get these ready and then our next step is for browning these meatballs. So let's do that and we'll move on to the next step. So we're ready to go ahead and put our sauce in the pan 
We have the meatballs all ready to go. We're gonna put the sauce in and we're gonna stick it on the back burner at medium low. And we're gonna let that simmer while we get the meatballs. Okay. And on the oil, we're gonna go ahead and use like a fourth of the pan, the bottom of the pan, probably right about there. We're gonna let that heat up and then we'll be ready to put the meatballs in. Back in a minute. So the sauce is in the pot, the oil is hot, and we're gonna put our meatballs in. And all we're trying to do right now is just brown these meatballs. We're not trying to cook them. We just want them browned because you don't want to throw them in your sauce and have them fall apart. So that's the whole point of browning them. So we're just going to brown these. And then once they're all ready to go, we will go ahead and put them on a, on a paper towel to just get some of that oil off first. And then we'll put them in the sauce. <laughs> I think I'm going to turn it down just a little. We're bubbling. So, if you haven't had a chance, we would love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube. Check out our website, www.burningcereal.com. We have a ton of great shows out there, including a, a bunch of stuff that is like El Pollo Loco Chicken, Benny Hanna Marinade, a really cool stuff, including some really simple ones like spicy tuna in a can. So if you get a chance, check it out. We're gonna let these brown and in a few minutes we'll just flip them over. So give us a sec, we'll come right back. Okay, so we have the meatballs all browned and we're gonna go ahead and put those in our sauce. And then what will happen is, I'm actually making some more, not just this batch, but what will happen is we're gonna go ahead and let this simmer for about 45 minutes and then we'll make our sandwiches. So we will be back. For you, it's only a second. For us, yeah, we actually have to sit here 45 minutes. So we'll see you back. So I bet you that 45 minutes zoomed right by for you. Of course, for me, it took a little while, but the meatballs are done and we're ready to make a sandwich. So I just have a French roll. We're going to take some mozzarella. We're gonna put it down at the bottom and we won't need exactly two slices, but this way you can have one and a half slices for each sandwich that you make. We're gonna put three meatballs inside and as you can see in my sauce that some of the meatballs broke up because now it looks like it's meat sauce and it was just a garlic herb sauce. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra sauce on the side, cover it all up. And then we're gonna take a little bit more mozzarella cheese. We're gonna put that on top and then we're gonna put that on broil in the oven for about five minutes, melt all the cheese, and we'll be ready to taste it. So let's do that. So everything's all ready. We're gonna go ahead and taste this sandwich and see how it tastes. Wow, that is amazing. You definitely need to try to make this. It is so good. Thank you, Teresa, 
for sending this recipe in and I hope that you guys uh, tune in again. Thanks so much. See you next time. Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name is Lisa <laughs> Rusty. Hi, welcome to Burning. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to look at the camera. Hi. <laughs> Go ahead, say my part. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Burning Cereal. My name's Lisa. <laughs> and today we're going to be making stuff. Seasonings, which you can look and scroll down and see it. I'll...